Hello everyone, welcome to an introduction video of Keen, the ultimate multi-demo bootstrap admin theme. In this video, we will talk about how you can purchase, download and install Keen to kickstart your very first project. So let's get into it. Firstly, to locate Keen on the internet, uh, you need to go to getbootstrap.com Navigate to the themes, scroll down, and you locate Keen right here. Click on it, and you will have an option to add to cart and also purchase the product once you've registered. Now, once you've purchased Keen, you can then download Keen via the same link with a download link. And once you've downloaded Keen, it will look something like this. So let's go ahead and extract Keen. This may take a while, so I will cut the video here and get back to you once it's done. Okay, we've done extracting Keen. So first things first, let's look into the docs folder and navigate to index.html. In here, you can see Keen's main landing page, which also features the default demo. Scroll down a little bit and you'll see demo 2, 3, 4, and 5. When you purchase Keen, you are given 5 demos right off the bat, and each demo comes with different layout styles for you to use it as a base and then add on or customize further for your project. Like, for example, demo 2 has a sidebar menu, whereas demo 3, we have menus at the top and uh, a header splash hero image. For demo 4 and 5, we have different uh, elements as well, or different layouts as well for you to choose. So let's go ahead into our docs. And in here, we see immediately we see the quick start menu where you have step by step on how you can install Keen. So we highly suggest that you open up the documentation folder first before you move on to any other folders within Keen. So let's just have a quick look on what we have within our documentation. We have a quick start and our install packages. We have a classic package and a default package. Um, the classic package is basically the old style of coding without any build tools. So it comes pre-compiled with uh, HTML and CSS or even JS that's already ready for you to use. For our default package, it's basically Keen that comes along with build tools where you can preload um, or you can run certain package managers or you run using Node.js or even run the entire uh, default package on a localhost environment where else the classic package you don't need to do that before we move uh before we move any further let's have a look at what other things we have in the documentation we have what it means with uh by having a multi-demo concept we have uh false structures build tools rtl so Please have a look at our documentation before we move me you guys move along. And before we, we go into installing like Node.js, NPM, stuff like that, uh, I'll explain to you further on all those things. Let's have a quick look on the classic package. So if you navigate to Keen and then theme, and then you see both our classic and default packages here. Let's go to classic. And then you have all our demos here, demo default, two, three, four, and five, and our assets. In the assets, you will find all our JS, all CSS, and even all our vendor um, plugins or frameworks that we just included within Keen. Uh, the vendor will be something like Bootstrap or Clipboard, Chart.js, jQuery, and so on and so forth. So in order to 
browse your the, the classic package uh what you do is just double click or just enter one of the demo folders like for example default and you see all the html files here so let's have a look at uh, let's have a quick look on the data table the basic data table just double click it or just drag it to your browser and this is how the the page looks like and if you look at the ide you can just open with sublime text and that's it you can just scroll down look for the code that you need copy and paste it into your project and before you're good to go you need to include of course you need to include all the css files that is relevant to the section that you copied and also scroll all the way down the js files this is how the classic source code looks like it looks like a whole pile of like uh js files whole pile of css files that you know gets it needs to be included into the file or into the included into the html now this will be solved by using our default package which comes to get comes with built tools that bundles up all this together so let's look and how we can actually run the default package before we can start using the default package we need to install a couple of things number one we need to install node.js you can do that by clicking on this link and using the windows or mac installer now node.js is an open source cross-platform javascript runtime environment that executes executes javascript code outside the browser so you don't need to go through like all these things that uh, you don't need to include all those js or javascripts uh dependency or include uh, javascript libraries within your html in it we will basically work so let's just go ahead and do that to do that we need to run the terminal or command prompt on the window so first thing let's look let's locate the theme default tools so go back to your root theme default tools and type in cmd here to open the command prompt for mac users you need to load up your terminal and then navigate to this tools folder to continue the next step which is to install npm and yarn now let's go ahead and install npm first that's not what we copied copy paste and enter now npm and yarn are package managers that help with installing upgrading and configuring plugins and resources that comes packaged within Keen. so let's go ahead and now we're done with uh now that we are done with npm let's go ahead and install yarn copy paste enter now if this is the first time installing uh, npm yarn on your machine this may take longer than what you see here the reason why this is taking so fast is because um, the npm and, and yarn has already been installed on my device and running this script will just update my library so it's, it's not bad to just run it again if you already have it installed next up we need to install gulp now gulp is a toolkit for automating time consuming tasks in your development our build tools are based on gulp and it will handle all the sas minif minification and bundling processes automatically now i'll just demonstrate to you a little bit uh, further on in this video but let's go ahead and just install gulp first copy and paste and that's it once it's done we need to run yarn now running yarn will basically do what we i just mentioned is to install all the dependencies 
Um, this process will also install all third-party plugins, including Bootstrap, jQuery, um, Bootstrap plugins such as Date Picker, Time Picker, Chart JS, Data Table, so on and so forth. Um, I will show show you what all the uh, the full list of dependencies has come. It comes along with Keen. So let's go ahead and start start off Yarn first because this may take a while. So let's type in Yarn in our command prompt and enter. Now, now when as this is running, okay. Before we go ahead and and show before I go ahead and show you what all the dependencies are. Um, if you are stuck trying to download and install npm yarn or even gulp, um, we have two tips for you. Uh, the first one is you definitely need an internet connection for this to work. If not, you can't download anything. And if you do have an active internet connection and if st it still gets stuck halfway, we will suggest, well, I would suggest that you uh, disable your firewall or your antivirus momentarily. So just disable it, run all the scripts on your terminal, and then once it's done, you can turn it back on. All right, so let's have a quick look at the dependencies while whilst our yarn is running. Let's go to default and tools and look at our package.json. Sublime text. All right, as you can see here, these are all the, all the dependencies that will get installed as you run yarn. So you don't have to include all these things manually. By running yarn, all this will be installed into your into your package or basically into your project basically automatically. So you have like bootstrap and all the bootstrapped uh, plugins or extensions, which is a date uh, date date picker, date range picker, date time picker, markdown, so on and so forth. You have Charts, uh, the chart.js, ch chartist, clipboard, even all our data tables. You have Google Maps, Calendar, Al Carousel, and all these other things. Okay, let's have a look at our yarn, and it's done. Cool. So Let's go ahead and head back to our documentation to see what's the next step. Our next step is to start the localhost server. So a local server is basically um, you're, 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 you're making your computer or your laptop or your PC basically to run a server-like environment without actually being a server. So for example, if I go to a local host right now, for example, if I go to this link right now, nothing happens because our local host environment is not set up. So to do that, we will need to run this script on our terminal. So let's go ahead and run gulp local host. Um, there are alternative. Um, there's definitely alternatives out there that that emulates or, or creates local environments such as WAMP or XAMPP. But out of the box, this will assist you greatly. You don't have to install like any other external uh, local host or local local environments for you to install. So this basically means that your server is running, and you can now. Reload our localhost page that we just opened, and that and here we go. Keen is now running. But as you can see, that uh, there is no styling involved, or even our JS is not really working. That's because we haven't run Gulp yet to compile all our dependencies, as mentioned before. So to do that, let's look at the next step of our in our documentation is to compile and add uh, all edited assets, whether it's SAS, JS, doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and do that. But you notice that we can't type anything on this current terminal. So 
this terminal is now basically used to run the localhost environment. So what we need to do is to open another terminal. So let's go ahead to our tools folder again. So uh, root, theme, default, tools, and type in CMD again. Uh, same process with uh, Max as before. Open up a terminal and then navigate to this tools folder and type in gulp. So what gulp is doing now is it's compiling all the SAS uh, files into CSS and then bundling everything up. Bundling all the CSS files, bundling um, all the JS files into its own relevant JS, single JS file. So now it's done. Uh, let's go ahead and refresh our local host. And there you go. Our key is now running on a local environment. So let's navigate to our data table just to compare with the classic uh, package. Base, and let's go to maybe our HTML table. And this is, everything is just working as it should. Okay, so before we uh, end this video, maybe what I would like to do is, I would like to basically show you how you can preview or view the other demos from your default package. So if you go to the, like uh, Keen, you go back to your root, go to theme default, and you go to your dist folder. This is where all the demos sit. The default demo will be right here. And then if you want to preview or you want to view like the third demo, demo tree, for example, just double click on the index.html in demo tree and you have demo tree running. So let's have a look at maybe demo five or four. Let's look at demo four. Demo four, and it looks like that. Okay, so that now that you understand how Keen works, um, the next step is to actually start your project. But um, we won't we won't cover that in this video because that may be we will definitely feature that in another video where we explain in more in depth on how you can actually customize your uh, customized key for your project. So please subscribe to us and turn on the notification bell so that next time when we upload the customization video or any other new videos that comes in the future, you will definitely get an update. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Links are in the description below. Um, what I've been adding to will be, I'll be adding all the other links to purchase Keen and also maybe a bit more information about what Node.js or what NPM or Yarn are. So you can look into the description to read more about those. So I will end this video for now, but on the next video, we'll talk a lot more on build tools, Susk, uh, uh, styling customization, page customization, elements customization, or even how to change fonts and what and so on and so forth and all those fun stuff. So keep an eye on that and I will see you soon. Take it easy.